Hey guys, I'm Tyler. Today we got Ricky's 1996 R50 Pathfinder with a subframe drop. Let's get right into it. Oh, here she is, 1996 R50 Pathfinder, 3.3 liter V6 engine, and we're rocking the biggest mod really on the market right now, the Pines to Spines subframe drop. Uh, you can kind of see the subframe spacers in there. So those are the subframe spacers. Um, yeah, subframe drop. It's insane. He's got an extra three inches of lift because this is a three inch subframe drop. Uh, you have to space down the subframe here with these blocks and there's a block further back. And then there's engine mount blocks up in here, an extended steering shaft. You can tell it's got plenty of lift. Um, yeah, about five inches in the front, five inches in the rear. He's rocking AC coils and 9448s. So same coils I've always used in the front, but in the rear, he's got basically what are the four inch addition of the Land Rover springs here. Um, let me brighten that up for you. NRC 9448. So yeah, very nicely done. He's got that push bar in the, over the rear bumper right now. He's gonna add an OEM hitch that we just pulled at the junkyard tail light guards wheel and tire setup here he's got 15 inch wheels with 31 by 10 and a half r15 bfgs ko2 we have the bilstein 33 1855 69 shocks right in here and uh bed liner all around the bottom half of it including the fender flares that's professionally done a really impressive lighting setup out in the front here um, all Amazon though cheap lights we just got this stuff these PIA's turn signal and some more lighting right there just some LEDs in the headlights but yeah very very well done a super nice lift and tire setup um, you know that subframe drop is a really awesome and impressive modification it takes it takes a fair amount of work, but there's definitely a difference between a two inch and a five inch lifted Pathfinder, and uh, definitely definitely shows up. It's a lot of ground clearance that you can gain over that mid carriage by doing a subframe drop. You'll notice he's got manual hubs here. These are worn manual hubs. He got them at a junkyard, and actually, kind of a bummer, they don't work. We were hoping to pull a pair today, but um, these actually don't work when they're in four by two. The CV axle still spin. Kind of a bummer but this one of the big things about this build is that it's been really well maintained uh, lots of mevotech parts on it lots of uh, replaced parts just lots of maintenance in general it's been uh, really well taken care of so this vehicle from the factory comes with 4.6 gears in the differentials and he's got the factory limited slip differential 60 80 foot pounds of breakaway torque here um but yeah so not only is it a good platform to start with from the base, but he's built it up from there very well. Automatic transmission, and this thing's got about 170,000 miles. We got this roof rack set up here. This is a Yakima Load Warrior with two extensions. Uh, he likes to strap goodies up here. He's got, you know, even more light. The theme of this vehicle is definitely orange. If you can't tell already, we've got orange CV axles, orange sway bar links, orange subframe drop, orange tow hooks, orange torque paint everywhere all over ricky also has really nice skid plates so this is the sf creation skid plate right here so ricky's got the sf creation front skid plate that's custom made for the subframe drop and then he also has uh, sf creation's bottom skid plate as well and then the big modification that we just put in today is his front diff which is my old diff so he now has a 4.6 front diff with a locker um, so he's got a front locker and a rear limited slip. He's got the SF Creation missing link that you can see just at the back here. And you can kind of see the under pinnings of the subframe drop from this. This would definitely have to be one of my favorite Pathfinders rolling around uh, on the internet on the streets right now. He's going to swap here from this roof rack to what I have on my Pathfinder, that 02 to 04 SE rack. Kind of looks like an Xterra rack. This side of the roof rack, you got the awning. See the traction boards up under here. Rhino rack dome. The engine bay here, so we got silicone 
coolant hoses, silicone intake hoses. Uh, my favorite contraption is this switch here, which controls that light. So we have the diff breathers routed all the way up to the top now that we got that front diff installed today. So rear diff, front diff breathers, uh, all the way up to the engine bay. And the interior here, so we got CB, GMRS, we got NAV. This is gonna be, in my estimation, kind of a flagship R50 build uh, for a lot of people to watch and enjoy watching. So that's this video on this R50. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, let me know what you think of it. This is this is definitely one of my favorite builds. I'm glad he could come up to Idaho. Uh, we could get that locket in there. So thanks for watching, guys.